Hello YouTube, and welcome to I'm a Fella Plays Darkest Dungeon. I'm a fella, and this is my estate. Um, I know I said I was going to try a different boss last week, but I'm a liar. I'm going to try the 8 pounder again. I think I know what I'm doing. I definitely don't, but I want, I want to kill this thing really bad. So my strategy this time is this team. Um, I need to kill the matchmaker every round, no matter what, or the matchstick man or whatever he is. So hopefully this is going to be the team to get that done. Um, yes. Let's do this. Um, I don't think I need anything else, but just to be safe. Um, simple folk are by their nature loquacious. And the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. I think I've heard that three times now. Um... So the strategy this time is going to be nature herself a victim to the spreading corruption hit the thing only when I have the chance He doesn't have any protection joy He doesn't have very much protection I thought he would have had more Okay I mean, it's not like I'm going to run out of torches anytime soon. <sighs> well, that sucks. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Well, I have two healers, so hopefully that'll make up for it. I mean, the blade. Let's see how this goes. Let's light some torches. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. That's pretty good. Uh, let's bellow. Boom. As the fiend falls, the That's pretty good. Blossoms. Ouch. That's not so great. I need to keep stress really low. Like, really, really low. Um. I confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah, I have some items that increase damage to humans. So hopefully that'll give me an edge in the battle. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I intend Fairfax to be grapple shotting the whole time. Just murking through all the humans that are going to be in the fight. I mean, we've had enough experience fighting this thing to know exactly what we need to do. No more mistakes. I'm not confident. In fact, I'm very nervous and I'm highly anticipating dying. Oh, I don't have time for that. Actually, that's good. Keep all the bleed on him. Oh. Let's reduce all your speeds. Or you could all just dodge. No big deal.
I almost wish she was level 2, because her heals would be that much better. But that's just me being nitpicky. Oh, rabies, not the time. Uh, Such a terrible assault. Not really the time for rabies, but I mean, there are worse afflictions to gain. I mean, it does give me a uh, increase to damage, so that's kind of whatever. I'm expecting big things from the Occultist, because he has a really high crit. And I'm anticipating that being really helpful. Well like that. Like, he has a 22% crit chance. That's really good. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I mean, that's one fifth, or almost almost a quarter of all his attacks should be crits, providing he hits. So I'm hoping that'll give me an edge. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Not good. Can I just hit that thing? Yes. A I hate blow. slimes. I hate them, they're the worst. Um, can I kill this thing? Yes. Good. Remember, skeletons are weak to bludgeoning damage. Don't ask me what game that's from. I will not tell you. The promise of safety. I'm sure some of you would have realized it. Alright, come on, 8 pounder. That sucks. I do not want to fight. Like, I, I just want to get into the, like, battle and just it be done. And we're doing pretty good for keeping our health up. May we find victory. So, hopefully... Uh, the room before, we'll just... Oh dear, um... Yeah. There you go. All the more reason for me to have done that. Ouch, that hurt. Reeling, about to break. He's level 2, so he's hopefully gonna give me a pretty nice edge. Uh, oh well. Probably should have done a weakening curse on him. That's a nice heal. Kill that guy. If so I can handle this thing myself, the big guy. Oh yeah, she has like no damage worth doing. Uh, who is the booty wannabe? I don't even know what she is. Prodigious size alone does well, that was good. Dissuade the sharpened blade. What's her name? Daryl. Daryl the Vestal. Alright, so... Old tree? What's in the old tree? Nothing worth it. The light. The promise of safety. Oh, I hate slimes. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not good. Because remember, if we don't kill them, they multiply. And we learned that they can make bigger ones if they multiply. That might have been a moot point. Uh, if I could stun it. Yes! Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I'm not very 
energetic today. Um, I don't know, just the prospects of fighting the eight pounder. I'm just kind of worn down from consecutive failures. You know what I mean? It's Remind just, yourself that overconfidence is a slow. It, it, it's slightly nerve-wracking because I know how difficult it is, and I don't even know if my team's gonna be able to handle them. It. Because for the most part, I've been playing this game without any guides. And I've been trying very hard to avoid guides. So, I don't really know if what I'm doing is the best thing to do. But I do know that I think this team is good. I really, really think this team is good. Um... Dang, he's good. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Alright, so I firmly believe that the boss is right there. So, well, I guess we're not gonna camp. Oh, this is going to be awful. Ladies and gentlemen, the 8-pounder. Oh, yeah, it's party heal. Party heal first thing, that's a good, uh, that's a good start. Okay, let's hit them. Oh, jeez, Louise. That's pretty good. Two guys in one turn. Now how many can he spawn? He can spawn two. That's fine. Be gone. So I can kill two at once. Haha. <laughs> so he's just gonna grapple shot every turn. Um I want to kill that guy. See, this is where having a leper would be good, because I would have just hewed through him. Ooh. Take that. Eight pounder. What's its debuff resist? Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not ever going to be able to debuff it. I mean, some damage is good damage, right? Wow, 10 damage done to it already. I think that's the most I've ever had done to it. Okay, there's three, and I need to kill that guy first, no matter what. I must say, we're doing pretty good so far. Though, of course, as uh, that guy loves reminding us, overconfidence and stuff. Let's kill this guy. So grapple shot's doing real good right now. See, I almost want to uh, hit with Ky uh, Kyron more because I know for a fact he's probably going to crit. Um. 
Oh, those are... Ooh. That's good. Just one guy. Does he think that that'll actually... Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, one damage is better than no damage. I'm very nervous. I don't like how easy this is going. Like... Uh-oh. See, this is where stuff starts going wrong. Or not. You could just... Okay. Let's, um... Keep hitting this guy, I guess. There's no way this is going to end this well. Like, I'm I'm not this lucky at all. I mean, we we literally had two episodes of failure. Something bad is going to happen. Like, I'm just going to hit a series of misses and it's just going to be bad. So is the most he can bring in two? If the most he can bring in is two, then looks like I'm probably gonna stay on top of it. Oh wow. That was cool. So I'm just gonna do that retribution move more because he gets a counter attack? That's crazy. I probably should have read the ability. And I'm really lucky that reinforcements happen at the start of the turn. Uh, I can kill that guy. No, that's not good. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good at all. Remember, we want everybody dead. Every round, everybody dead. It's the safest for my team. That's not good. But that's why we bring the occultist, because he's crits for days. This is nerve-wracking. Well, I mean, it's going really well. I'm just happy that it's going so well right now. I'm gonna have to remember to change their equipment because like all three guys in the front have Manslayer rings. So they're gonna be a bit harder hitting against humans than normal. Oh God, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we beat the eight pounder. This expedition at least promises success. Okay, so let's get rid of all this useless stuff. And let's leave. Just let's just leave the dungeon. Alright, so now we know how to take down the brigand uh I think it goes sixteen pounder now. I have a feeling, ooh, wow, that's kind of helpful. Um, I have a feeling that this team is going to definitely reunite when fighting the next guy. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Well, that's excellent. I mean, that was just real good. Um, I'm going to upgrade the... Uh, Kyron, because he's now level 3. 
I like the occultists now. Um, I know I liked them last time around, but I really like Chiron a lot more. Man at Arms. Okay, well, he's not in rank 4, so that's not helpful at all. But, that means that it looks like we're ready to fight the next boss, I think. Um, which will be good. So, to my knowledge, lepers are good. Yeah, either row. So, um, stay tuned, and next time we'll probably fight the next boss. Uh... I'm a fella, this is Darkest Dungeon, and that was a really great boss fight. Farewell.